the truth. Think of him every time you die for a loose ball or go for a rebound. Because I know him and I know how bad he wants to be out there. That's why he was out there. And it sucks. I feel so bad for him, his camp. He's going to come back stronger, though. That's the kind of fighter he is. And I'm going to miss him, man. It's, it's, it's not the same being out there without him. Still being a, a leader, you know, trying to let you guys know that even though you guys feel so bad, uh, that he's going to be right there with you. I think it goes back to what Bob was saying about him being misunderstood in terms of what's important to him. Playing basketball is important. Being a good human being is important. The selflessness of, like you say, going through a situation like he's going through right now, he has the initiative to go, you know, speak to the entire fan base and to, you know, hype us up as, as his teammates and his brother. So um, I expect nothing, nothing less or nothing different in terms of, you know, how he responds to this. Although he's going to go through some, some, some challenges through this process, you know, whatever, however long it takes, but we're going to be there for him, for sure. Next question. Uh, really enjoyed the people and their passion and excitement for not only the game, but just um, when you come into they just enjoy you know, life and they're nice people. Very confused around that reaction. Um, it's not my experience with you know the people of this city, and I commend obviously Danny Green and. and Kyle Lowry especially, I think they were the ones that were kind of signaling to the crowd, like, let's, let's check ourselves a little bit. We understand that this is about an individual, a human being, and not, oh, shoot, he's out, he's hurt, we won a championship. Like, that was probably their initial thought, and um, you hate to see, to see that when a guy is going, you know, through pain like that. So, again, that's not my experience with this city, and I just hope uh, that ugliness doesn't show itself again um, as we go forward in the series. He's a good teammate, and I love you to know him. What do you think Bob means when he says he's one of the most misunderstood people? When you are on this this level of greatness, and everybody's kind of poking and prying and trying to, you know narrate your story and tell you who you are, who you should be, what decisions you should make constantly over and over and over again. It's part of you know what comes with this territory, but it's just when you get to know somebody and see how genuine they are and how committed they are just to playing basketball and having fun and, and, and living life a certain way, you root for those type of guys. And like you said, whatever his outward appearance is or whatever he says to the media or whatever, like, at the end of the day, the people that know him know what type of guy he is and um, you know how special of an individual he is. So all those emotions come into it when you see him go down like that, where he's giving us everything he has. Um, and it's not even about, you know, this series, it's about long term, you know, his mindset and, and being able to get back to the, the player and the person that he's shown, you know, consistently over over the course of his career. Chris uh, wins in recent memory here in the finals. Yeah, nobody's really celebrating. Um, can you just speak to like the, the family like uh, connection that you guys have? Uh, it's, it was striking to see uh, Bob Myers and um, Clay Thompson uh, and Steve Kerr uh, feeling so somber after such a great win. Can you speak to that, please? Everybody gets so wrapped up in you know, chasing championships and the greatness that you see on the floor, but life is more important in terms of you know, caring about a, an individual and, and what they're going through on a daily basis. And you see, a, I mean, the commitment and, and the challenges and just the, what's been thrown at, at, at KD, you know, this, this whole year, really. And, he gave us what he had. He, he went out there and sacrificed his body. And we you know how it turned out. So 
a part of our mentality and like the experiences, the shared experiences that we have as a team and what we've all been through, that's way more important than anything that happens out there, you know, long term anything that happens on the court. And I just feel so bad for him, to be honest. Like that's nobody should have to go through something like that, especially with this this stage that we have. Didn't say anything. Um, there was nothing to be said. Uh, the Raptors players were telling the crowd to be quiet, uh, out of respect, which I appreciated. Some of, the, some of the fans were cheering when it happened, and, and I think the Raptors players understood you know, how serious it was, and they, they sort of quieted the crowd. And um, and there was just a, a couple minutes there where it all seemed uh, so eerie and strange and um, it took maybe a little bit for both, both teams to collect themselves. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. How do you think your guys were able to do that and overcome that? I think we went down six, if I'm not mistaken, and um, maybe it was five. I don't remember. Is it five, six? Uh, but uh, Steph and Clay hit back-to-back -back threes, I believe. Um, and we got stops. You know, our, our defense was uh, bending down the stretch, but we didn't break. And uh, the last stop was uh, tremendous. Amazing defense on that last play from all five guys. Draymond's block, uh, he covered so much ground uh, on Kyle's uh, shot from the corner. Uh, <clears throat> so our guys just stayed with it, and they stayed poised, and just an amazing job finishing the game. Describe your range of emotions right now from winning the game, but also losing KD and come on once again. Um, I don't think that I can, honestly. And I just told the team I didn't know what to say because um, you know, on the one hand, I'm so proud of them. <clears throat> uh, just the amazing heart and grit that they showed. And on the other, I'm just devastated for, for Kevin. And so it's a, it's, it's a bizarre, uh, feeling that we all have right now. Um, an incredible win and um, a horrible loss uh, at the same time. Yeah, I was, um, I really felt for him. Right, I know, I know he was um, probably not 100% and he gave it a shot tonight, right? And uh, he just made a you know, kind of a move on his own, and he went down kind of on his own, I think, without a collision or landing on something. So you knew it was probably, you know, not good, you know. Um, the moment for me is, is I mean, I, shoot, I love KD, I love watching him play. And I, uh, when anybody goes down, you, you know, you're, you're saddened by it. But uh, when, it, when one of the great players like that goes down, it's, it's almost shocking. Obviously they can. It's bigger than basketball here. Um, I saw these lines with the human beings just like everybody in this room. We go through things, we, we have life crisis, we, we have emotions, we have up and downs. It's just when we get in between us, we have to zone out all of that and become these superstar athletes. So with that being said, they know us outside of the lines. They know the, the everyday struggles. They know the you know, the university and the ups and downs we go through on, them, on a daily basis. So uh, with that being said, it's feeling for the game. It's not about basketball. It's about everything else. The shit that y'all don't care about. Has it been told the same as you were told after game four, that it's not something that you can make worse? Right, right. Same thing. Uh, we got additional x-rays and everything. Everything came back clean and they said uh, everything, nothing got worse. Uh, it's about me dealing, dealing with the pain. And, uh, uh, I feel confident I should be able to play through it. Well, can you talk about the lift? Look, he gave you guys tonight. KD goes down. He comes into the game, gives you guys a quick seven. Yeah. Gave you guys uh, so much needed, a uh, much needed joke. Yeah, no. When, K when K KD went down, you know, everything was kind of chaotic, and you know, we were trying to rally back together and trying to uh, keep our, our spirits high. And Cuz came in and did that for us. You know, and he didn't start the game off, start start this game, but he came in off the bench and he, he was amazing that in that. Uh, when he came in, you know, he gave us some big buckets. He played great defense. Uh, he gave—he was an emotional spark for us. He—he he did, he did it all tonight. You know, uh, that's why that's why who he is. Why he, why he, that's why he's a star in this league. And uh, you know, 
never never count him out. You know, he might have a bad game, but he always you know he knows he's gonna come back and respond. Cause that's who he is. He's a tough guy, and uh, you know, he wants to win, and, and he fits in perfectly with our team. Was there much talk there?